you guys. So, um, first of all, sorry for the way I look. I know I look terrible. I just got back from summer running and we did a really hard hill workout that was just hard. So, um, I'm like completely tired, worn out, and I just wanted to make a video, but I didn't feel like getting all nice and dressed up or whatever. So, I just took my hair out of my ponytail, put on a little lip gloss, and ta-da. So, um, like I said, sorry. I just wanted to make a video. I haven't really made that many because um, I've been out in town and I've just been vi busy. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys what I've done um, for this past weekend. So um, on Friday, I left to go to Omaha, Nebraska. We went to the Olympic swim trials and it was really fun. I went with my friend Taylor and it was just really amazing. I went um, in 2008 and it was really fun. I went with a different friend though, Zoe and she's actually in the video I just made about the trials but it was really fun and I really enjoyed it and we met so many swimmers we met Michael Phelps, um, Elizabeth Beisel, Ryan Lochte, Matt McQueen, Garrett, no not Garrett, um, well we saw Garrett Webergale, we saw, um, we met Matt um, Grievers, um, Natalie Coughlin, Amanda Beard, um, we saw Dara Torres, we saw Katie Hoff, we just saw like a ton of people, um, Dana Vollmer, just tons and tons of swimmers, and I kind of wanted to just tell you this story about how we met Michael Phelps. It's a long story, but I'm going to try and kind of summarize it for you guys, and it's just like, if you think about it, it's just like a, oh my gosh, like how would that happen? So, to start off, um, the trials, they have like different sponsors, and one of the sponsors is BMW, the car um, manufacturer, dealership, whatever. And we have a BMW, and so anyone who had a BMW, they got their special, like a special parking area, and you got your car washed every time you were there. So we took advantage of it because, you know, who doesn't want their car washed for free? So we just like got our car washed. So we parked it, and the guy that was like helping us park um, the first day, he was there the second day when we were there so we saw him twice and the second day we kind of we had kind of not made friends with him but we had just like had been talking and stuff so my friend was like oh yeah we're gonna try and meet Michael Phelps because like my friend loves him and she's like been a fan of him forever so we were like yeah we're gonna try and find, like meet Michael Phelps after he's done swimming so the guy was like oh yeah all the swimmers there's a, a hotel that connects to the pool and it's a Hilton and there's like a skywalk, you know, to go to the pool or to go to the hotel. And he was like, yeah, all this, what, like, big swimmers, like Michael Phelps, um, are on, are at the Hilton and they're on the 8th floor. And you can't get on the 8th floor unless you have a room key um, or a room on the 8th floor because it's like a special, you know, a special floor. So the guy was like, yeah, I'm on the 8th floor and I think I have an extra room key. So here you guys go. So he gave us his room key. He didn't tell us like his room number or anything, but it still like gave us access to the eighth floor. So Taylor and I were just like, oh my God, what just happened? And so he told us that Michael Phelps was on that floor. So Taylor like gave him a huge hug and then we were like so excited. So after the awards for um, an event Michael's in and he was done after that, Taylor and I ran to the hotel and we went up to the eighth floor and there was like this little cafe um, on the floor. So we decided we would just like sit in that cafe, you know, because the cafe, there's a view um, to the elevators. So we knew that's the only way he can get up there. So we'll have to see him. So we sat there for about three hours. Um, and then all of a sudden we see Bob Bowman walk, walk into the little cafe and Bob Bowman is his coach. And so he walks into the cafe and then right behind him is Michael Phelps and Taylor was like on her phone and I saw, so I like, I was like hitting over Taylor. And looked and we just kind of like like stared at him we were just like kind of awestruck so they got so they went over and I guess they shook hands with some guy probably like an agent or something like that and then they got up and left and Taylor and I got up and we we followed them and they were like getting ready to go into their room so Taylor was like Michael Michael um, and then the guys were like they kind of put their hand up and they're like not now guys um, he's tired and not in a hotel because apparently he doesn't like giving getting pictures or anything in a hotel because you know there's just a lot of people that probably st like swarm him and he doesn't want that which I mean I understand so we were like okay so we sat down at the cafe again probably for about another 45 minutes and then um, 
me and Taylor, we kind of got into like this little fight, like nothing like important or anything, but we just got into this little fight. So we were kind of arguing. And so she hit the um, elevator button to go down and the elevator opened. She walked in and I didn't. And the elevator doors were literally closing. And then she stuck her hand out and like, you know, to stop the doors from closing was like, are you going to come? And I was like, no. And so she came out to show me something on her phone because we were arguing about something um, through text mess, like that happened through a text. So she was showing me the text message to prove me something. And as she was doing that, Michael Phelps comes out, um, out of his room and is waiting for an elevator. And so I was just thinking, like, if we did not get in this fight, Michael Phelps, we would have missed him. We would have been down the elevator and he would be coming out right now. So um, Taylor was just like, we just kind of like stared at each other. And so Taylor was like, Michael, um, can I get a picture with you really quickly? And he was like, he seemed really annoyed, like probably just like, Ugh. it's like I really don't want to deal with, with this right now. But he was like, okay, um, sure, whatever. And Taylor was like, sorry, because she could tell he was annoyed. So she was like, sorry. And he's like, it's fine. I just don't do this in hotels because, like I said, he doesn't want to get sworn by everyone. So I took a picture of them, and the elevator door opened. And I was, like, too nervous to ask him because I didn't want to, like, annoy him any further, you know? Because he didn't want to take a picture in the first place, so I didn't want to ask him for a picture as well. So he went in the elevator, and we went in the elevator with him. And so we're, it's like just me, this like one other lady I don't know. So it's me and Taylor and then Michael Phelps is right next to her. And we were just quiet the whole way down. We went from the eighth floor down to the lobby the whole entire time. And then when the doors opened, he like let us through like as a gentleman. And we walked through and we just like kind of freaked out. Like we were just like, we just met Michael Phelps. Like what just happened? So that's kind of my story on how I met Michael Phelps. Um, it was cr pretty crazy because it was funny though because once we got down to the lobby Taylor gave me like a hug and she was like thank you for getting so mad at me and like yelling at me and all this and like so it was pretty much just like because of that fight we met Michael Phelps so um, it was really funny kind of and I'm just really upset though that I didn't have the guts to go like hey I want a picture too. But it was still really fun, and I did get a lot of other pictures with, like, Matt Grievers, Elizabeth Weisel, Matt McQueen, so it was still really fun, and, um, yeah, it was a pretty crazy adventure, I guess. Um, that's kind of my story on the Olympic trials and how I met Michael Phelps. I just thought it was a pretty crazy story, um, kind of like a, you wouldn't really think that's how you'd meet him, because we thought we would just, like, you know, pass him in the hallway or something, and it was crazy, um. So yeah, so that's kind of my story and it's not really, you know, my usual type of video, but I just thought it was pretty crazy and I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload this video, I just wanted to make it and I'm probably going to do a June favorites video because um, it's July 5th and obviously it's June's already got, done or over with and I have some products that I have been liking and been using, so I'll probably make that video next when I'm wearing this, so if you guys once again see me in this. Obviously, this is not what people usually look like when they're making videos about beauty and stuff because this is not, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that was my story, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Bye, guys.